excited to be in our first Women of Excellence in 2024, our year of active faith. I can't feel you. Are you excited, excited. to be in our first ever yes. Women of Excellence in 2024? Come on, give the Lord a mighty shout of praise. You can, you can bless his name. Shout, give him a prayer. Hallelujah. Come on, say hi to your neighbor. You know, some of you, I saw you last year. I saw some of you last year. And you know, it's good to see you again. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you look wonderful. You look amazing. But I look better than you. I look better than you. You know, I know some of you usually look forward to such women of excellence that you don't have a theme. You're just wearing your favorite attire. Wow, are you excited? Beautiful. Do you have one thing that the Lord has done for you in 2024? Don't think about 2023. 2023 is gone. Alright? It's gone. Say 2023 so long. Bye-bye. We are in 2024. And let me tell you, this January, okay, this January, God has been good to it personal. So I want you as well to make it personal. And put there something that God has done for you. Has God given you life? Have you have you eaten? Are you walking? Can you talk? Can you smell? It is because of the grace of the Lord. Amen. So that's why we want to sing this song that says, Eze Bube, see how far you brought me. The song simply means, King of glory, glorious King, see how far you've brought me. Amen. Amen. The Bible says it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. So I want you to just don't think about your neighbor. Don't think this, this person was supposed to be here. Uh -uh, it's your time with the Lord. Amen. So just lift your hands all over this place. Just lift your hands and give him thanks. Give him thanks. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful, oh Lord. See how far you have brought us, oh Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Somebody lift your voice and tell the Lord, thank you. Come on, just lift your voice, everybody, all over this place. Raise a voice of thanksgiving. Raise a voice of thanksgiving. For one more second, for one more second, lift up your hands and raise a voice of thanksgiving. Somebody, we thank you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy of my praise, oh Lord. mouth can testify more than my mind can comprehend hallelujah see I've seen the wonders of your grace thank you Jesus for not giving up on me oh, oh, oh. It's 
full of gratitude to you lord and no one else but you no one else but you oh lord see i've seen lord i've seen the wonders of your grace thank you jesus for not giving up for not giving up on me one more time my heart is full of gratitude i have a heart full of gratitude lord to you and no one else no one else but you jesus i'm here only by your grace only by your grace thank you lord for not giving up on me one more time we can do that one more time my heart is full of gratitude my heart is full of gratitude to you jesus to you alone to no you one else but you no one else, no one but, else you. but you see i've seen, I've seen the wonders of your grace
can tell. I can tell enough of what you have done for me, Jesus. Oh my days, I will sing your praise. Grace found me. Grace saved me. Grace made me who I am. Grace redeemed me. Grace sustains me. Grace made me who I am. Sing it out, say, Grace found me. Grace saved me. Grace Grace made me who I am. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you for your grace. See how far you have brought us, Jesus. See how far you have brought us. See how far you have brought us, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just come to thank you, Lord. 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 And I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your praise. I can see, I can see, I can tell. And I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your praise. I can see. I can tell and I know it's your grace on my days. I will sing your praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh. unravel me with a melody you surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fear is gone everybody help me say you unravel you unravel me with a melody. You surround me. You surround me with a song. Of
time from my mother's womb say from my mother's womb you have chosen me for the other. So I don't want fear to surround us and we give way to fear. Let us have faith and I want us to declare that we are no longer slaves to fear. Oh, I am a child. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear. For I
They say this mountain They say the chains will never break But they don't know you like we do But they don't know you like we do There is power, there is power in your name We've heard that there's no way through We've heard that there is no way through We've heard the tides will never change And the tides will never change They haven't seen what you can do I believe 
my is alive. How could I keep it inside? I'm gonna Tu ne me laisses pas, tu ne me laisses pas, tu ne me 
Jesus. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. It is Amen. 10, 10, 10. It is our first women of excellence in 2024. Let's praise the Lord. It's a miracle being here on the first women of excellence in 2020. There are people who didn't see this month, but you and I and I are here. So let's appreciate the King of Kings. Let's appreciate the Lord. God has been good to us. Hallelujah. Amen. And with us is our one and very only mommy, Pastor Mercy. Let's appreciate her. And look, hold it. Hold it. Hold it right there. Just hold up. It was her birthday a few days ago. Isn't it? Mommy, we thank God for you. You are a gift to us from heaven. You have touched our lives. You have changed our lives. You have taught us to dress and be excellent. You have taught us to be obedient, to be submissive, and you don't take it for granted. You are indeed a special gift. So let's sing for Mommy. Praise and worship. Happy birthday. Microphone. If I sing, all the windows will crack. So... <laughs> May God help us. <laughs> They're cracking already. Mercy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Precious to us, your efforts are seen by us, and we are just saying, just saying things. Oh. Dear mommy, precious to us, your efforts are seen by us, and we are just saying, just saying things. We love you, we love you, we thank you, we really appreciate. presentation sign all right so let's appreciate the lord for our mom beautiful and we also have a prophet in this house so let us appreciate our prophets in absentia yourselves 
Look at your neighbor, say hi to them. But then you guys all look beautiful and amazing. Tell your neighbor they look nice and fresh. And you may have your amazing seats. And sit on your enemy never to rise up again. Wow. I'm excited to be here. I don't take this for granted. Mom, thank you for the opportunity. It's an honor and a privilege. And we are live. Do you know that we are live? We are live. So just go to your phones, everybody. Go to Facebook. Go to Instagram. Our social media handles and share. Share, 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 share. Great. Have we all shared? Have we? Beautiful. And now to our announcements. Our next woman of excellence will be coming up in April, tentatively on 27th. So block your calendar and start planning for it today. All right, so that we don't miss, come with a friend, come with, with a sister, come with a mother, come with a neighbor. And I believe God will do great things in our lives. And God is doing amazing things and we have amazing testimonies. So if you'd like to share your testimony with us, uh, just send your testimony to the email address pstmercy18 at gmail.com pstmercy18 at gmail.com Alright? And as ladies, we experience many things. If you'd like to go through counseling or if you'd like to speak with somebody, you can call our office line at 0717-062-464 and there'll be somebody ready to speak with you, pray with you, encourage you in Jesus' name. And this coming week, we have our seasons of withdrawal with our very own prophet. It's starting from Monday the 29th to Friday, 2nd February. We'll be meeting at 6.30 p.m. in the evening and then in the morning, we wake up at 4 a.m. We'll be online. All right? Wow. And now to our emails. Excellence and a happy new year. Welcome to our first meeting of the year, our year of active faith. My name is Valerie and on behalf of Pastor Masi Masharia, I welcome you to this meeting. Are you new to the Women of Excellence? I am delighted to welcome you to an amazing network of women. Women of Excellence is a ministry where women are raised to become excellent within and without. Pastor Masima Sharia, the visionary of this mission, began this ministry over a decade ago. And since then, she has been helping women exude excellence in every way. Women of Excellence meetings take place four times a year and they are life-changing forums where we are taught the Word of God and life skills. Today is all about active faith. The Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please God. It is my prayer that you become a woman of active faith. Sasa 
Couples in the building. Your marriage is taking off this year. This February, we have set up a night full of games, dancing, fun, and movies. On Friday, 16th of February, from 5.30 p.m. at Prestige Cinema. Charges are only 2,500 Kenya shillings per couple. Register today at the information desk. I hope you're ready to activate your faith and to receive the grace to trust in the Lord at all times. So get ready for a wonderful experience in the presence of the Lord. The next meeting will be happening on the 27th of April. Until then, remember to remain an excellent woman within and without. I hope you are ready to activate your faith and to receive the grace to trust in God at all times. So get ready for a wonderful experience in the presence of the Lord. My name is Valerie Nekesa and until next time, remember to be an excellent woman within and without. We have our dance right now. Let's appreciate them until they get here. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn it up. Turn it up.
said to the dancing crew, do you have a big God? I have a big God and he's always by my side. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Pastor Carol and I'll be taking you through the offertory session. Yeah, today as we gather around the theme of active faith, um, let's remember how our beliefs move us into action. We know that our theme this year is? Good. So this afternoon as women of excellence, as we gather around under the same theme of active faith, I want us to remember how our beliefs move us to action. Our faith isn't just about what we say we believe, right? But it's about how we live it. How do we live this faith? Especially when it comes to giving. Because we try and minimize our faith to be on only some things, probably provision or healing. But we never attribute it to giving. And so we have two scriptures I want us to look at. One is our theme scripture, that is James chapter 2, verse 17, and I'll read. So you see, it isn't enough just to have faith. You must also do good to prove that you have it. Faith that doesn't show itself by good works is no faith at all. It is dead and useless. Let me read that again. So you see, it isn't enough just to have faith. You must also do good to prove that you have it. Faith that doesn't show itself by good works is no faith at all. It is dead and useless. This reminds us that faith without action is empty. Our beliefs should always move us to do good deeds and to help others. The other scripture I want us to look at is Malachi 3, verse 10. It says, bring to the storehouse a tenth of what you gain. Then there will be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord of heaven's armies. I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out more blessings than you have room for. So here God is encouraging us to test him in tithes and offerings. Doesn't our father always tell us that, that we need to test God in our tithes and our offerings, that God is promising us blessings beyond measure for those who faithfully give. And so today I want us to think about the ways our faith has led us, um, has led us in our giving, whether it is money, whether it is kindness, whether it is, you know, deeds of generosity. And when we tithe and give offerings, we're actively participating in God's work in the world, spreading love and making a difference in the lives of others. So as we prepare to pay our tithes this afternoon and give our offerings, let's also consider how we can continue to live out our faith in practical ways every day through those acts of kindness and generosity. So giving is not necessarily just money. Remember this kindness, this generosity, the simple thing of even inviting somebody to come for the meeting and be blessed. A simple gesture of visiting somebody who has not been to church and you want to find out why they have not been to church. A hospital visit. You know, those are simple ways that we can do. But I'm not here to preach. So as it is our culture, let us have the tithers come forward uh, so that we can be anointed Tithers, please make your way forward. And then... Tithers, and then let's have the... Let's have the pay bill. For women of excellence, we're using 407-2037. You're going to put the account, whether it's tithe or offering. And then our father has also been teaching us to name our offerings. So I'd like all of us to get an envelope, whether it is cash or M-Pesa, please take an envelope. If it's M-Pesa, write the code 
on the envelope and at the back of the envelope, write what you want God to do for you. This is our, we are starting to activate our faith on that. So let's be upstanding tithers. And as we wait for them to come forward, let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity to give back to you a portion of what you have blessed us with. Thank you, Lord, for our faith and the chance to make it active through giving. May our tithes and offerings be used to further your kingdom and to bring hope to those in need. This we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do we have any tithers? And the rest of us, you can just come forward and bring your offerings. can come forward and give our offerings and I'll invite the oh, sorry. I'll invite the worship team to come and present. Let's appreciate the worship team as they come.
God, my future. You are, you are. Sickness, not my story. You are, you are. Heartbreaks, not my home. You are, you are. Death is not the end, Jesus. You are. Fear is not, fear is not my future. You are, you are. Sickness, not my story. Sickness, not, not my story. story.
come on appreciate them put your hands together are you clapping your hands praise the Lord are you glad that you're in the house of the Lord I want to take this opportunity and I want to appreciate our mother wow you're saying wow and you're still seated oh you're still seated <laughs> We thank God for this day and we thank God that God thought about us. God had us in mind when she gave us the beautiful woman of God. Do you agree? She's a gift in this family. She's a gift in our lives, in our personal lives and even in the, in the entire Harvest Nation. We thank you mom for accepting the call and for allowing God to use you in every season of your life, in every season of this ministry, you have always been there. You have been an epitome of strength. A woman that you can look up to, a virtuous woman, a woman we have learned a lot from. And you have given us, you have poured out your heart to us, leaving everything to us. And I just thank God that you are a great miracle and a great gift in our lives. And we will forever be grateful to God for you. I just want you to help me appreciate the woman of God. We just want to celebrate her. We thank God that this, as we celebrate her birthday, just put your hands together and bless the Lord for this wonderful gift that the Lord has given us. Amen. Amen. I want to invite Pastor Wow. Wow. Thank you so much, ma'am, for accepting to be our mother. And thank you so much for outpouring your heart to us. We love you so much as your daughters. And uh, amongst the many things you've taught us is to position ourselves for different assignments. And one of them, uh, church planting. And we are promising you as uh, your mentees that we shall emulate you. We shall not let you down. We shall have many lady pastors, pastoring churches. Do I have a witness in the house? Are we promising our mother that you're going to emulate her? Yes, and I believe God, God helping us. We shall do the exploits you're doing in Kitengela. We love you so much, mom, and happy birthday. I would like to take this opportunity and invite our mom here on this altar. Please just make your way. No, no, no. Just a way. <laughs> we have Dear a mommy, gift from the Harvest Family Church. Yes. From the women of excellence. Just saying that. Dear mommy, dear mommy, be precious to us. Your efforts are seen by us. And we are just saying. We love you, we love you. We thank you, we thank We really, we really appreciate We love you, we love We thank you, we thank We really, we really appreciate you. We also have another gift for mother. We love you, Mom. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, appreciate Jesus for our mother. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Clap your hands even as our mom gets down. Oh, oh you can't for us to get. Yes, yes. I think you can check that. Let's appreciate our mom. Appreciate our mom very well. Mom, we love you and we can't thank you enough. And you're just so beautiful within and without. You're truly a woman of excellence and we desire to be like you. So we'd like to celebrate you with a cake. This cake is beautiful on the outside, but the value to the body is, on, is the what is in the inside. So what you have in the inside, the anointing that you carry is what feeds us and we love it. Welcome. Appreciate our mama, she comes. Let's appreciate our mama, she cuts the cake. 
Appreciate. Clap your hands. Appreciate her very well until she finishes. Keep clapping your hands. Keep clapping. Don't get tired of appreciating our mom. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear mom. May you have many, 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 many more. May you have many, many more. May you have many, 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 many more. May you have many, many more. May you have many, many more. May you have many, many more. Swa kupenda sana mama. Swa kupenda sana mama. Swa kupenda sana mama. Appreciate our mom. Give her a hand. Thank you so much, mom. We love you. We honor you and we appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. One more time. I appreciate Jesus. You may have your seats. You may have your seats. All right. One more time. I appreciate Jesus. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. Praise the Lord. Oh, your morning has come. Why don't you give it up for Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, I thank you so much for the birthday celebration. I was born, is it four days ago? But miraculously, I'm here. <laughs> a four, four, year, four days old baby has come to preach. Why don't you appreciate Jesus for the gift of life? Amen. Amen. And as you have celebrated me, may you also be celebrated. May your birthday never be forgotten. May no one just post your photo. May they give you nice gifts. Yeah. I pray that the men in your life will be so blessed that they shall surprise you on your birthday very very well they are not just writing a queen was born today what are you talking about after we read the status we want to see something hey, may you receive it in Jesus name may you get amazing surprises I'm so blessed to be here this Saturday afternoon and I just want to minister to you. Is it okay? I believe that is why we came. But before we do, I want to, I want to appreciate and to acknowledge our prophet and our father, the founder of this powerful ministry, Pastor Jimmy. Come on, put your hands together for our prophet. Come on, appreciate him. Do we love our prophet? Hey, appreciate him very well in Jesus' name. Amen. We could not be meeting here if he never gave us his blessing. Amen. He has a big heart that can accommodate all of us and he thinks about each and every one of us he prays for us this coming week Eish, he was telling me I think it was a warning I'll be leaving this house by 3am it's true 
Eh, hey, he sets an alarm that is very loud. So hata kama mimi nataka kungojea 4, siwezi ngoja. Yeah, you just have to wake up. <laughs> that is how he's so committed to just come and lead us in prayer for a whole week. Hey, otherwise, if it was praying for himself, he could pray from the house, isn't it? Just if not for any other reason. Why don't you appreciate our prophet? Because he's always laboring for us. Amen. And we have seen. I would encourage you not to miss the seasons of withdrawal. I hope you are preparing yourself. Whatever you do, prepare. If you have to wake up at four and shower in cold water so that you don't go back to sleep, do what you have to do. Tell me, but do what you have to do. <laughs> but we have to pray. Somebody say we are praying. Our active faith has to do with prayer. Amen. And I believe that as we pray, our lives will never be the same again. I've seen anytime he's leading us in prayer, God speaks to him specifically concerning many things. He has canceled deaths and they were stopped. He has canceled accidents and they were stopped. He has declared open doors and they were opened. He has declared promotions and they were, people were promoted. So you never know what God has in store. Amen. Tell your neighbor, this coming week, we are meeting to pray. 4 a.m. every morning and then at 6 p.m. we meet in church and then in the course of the day you pray but for yourself amen is that amazing are you happy to be in the house why don't you walk around and say hi to somebody appreciate them as we declare we are together again just we praising the lord just praising the Lord. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. We are together again. to several people and give them a warm hug, a warm smile. Let them know you are happy to see them. Why don't you appreciate Jesus as you come back to your seat? Amen. I believe we'll have more time to fellowship. As we are, don't sit down. Just stand next to your seat. Amen. We'll have more time to fellowship as we enjoy a cup of tea. By the grace of God, today I want us to finish by five sharp. Yes. It's a declaration. It's a faith confession. <laughs> faith confession. Yes. All the best. Someone has told me all the best. No problem. So now, I just want us, we, this year is so amazing. Do you love this year? I've been saying, I think I love 2024. Already. Isn't it? Our prophet gave us an instruction last Sunday, is it? That we buy a prayer jar and a gratitude jar. Isn't it? Hey, ask your neighbor, have you purchased... Because as for us in Kitengela, it is already working. What I'm realizing, are we, are we listening? At the back, are you with us? I can see a, a, a gathering of young men. Are you with us? Let's appreciate them. We also have some male pastors, branch pastors in the house. Pastor Kanyuera, Pastor G, Pastor Charles. Hey, I'm so happy to see you. I have missed you. Now, Pastor Ken, Pastor Ken is, is always here with us. Let's appreciate them. Amen. I saw them coming in and I was wondering, eh? Okay. All right. So I was saying that I love 2024. I love that instruction to write down what you are desiring God to do. I don't know what it is, but by the, most of the things we write, you realize that God is already working on them. I don't know who is a witness in the house. I think most of the times when God knows that even if he does it, you will not remember. Why should he do it? And all you do is to complain. But now this one will help us. We will have practical. 
We'll not be asking who has a testimony. Hey, as for testimonies, we'll be lining up. Isn't it? Are you going to write down? Those of you who are still disobeying, this is a divine instruction. And this year we are acting by faith because we have to have acts of obedience. Somebody say acts of obedience. So just write down everything you write and put in your prayer jar. It shall be transferred into the gratitude jar. With shouts of grace, grace, grace and victory in Jesus name. Amen. One of our prayers as a church is that we shall complete our cathedral. Oh yes. Yeah, that one is the main prayer point for our prophet in capital letters. Can you also make it your prayer point? By the way, as we desire to see this cathedral completed, what will happen is that because all we need is money. By the to complete, as for the timeline is there, we have a whole year. The, what is missing in the e equation is money. Somebody say money. So as you tell the Lord, I want to be one of the people who shall ensure it is done. What you are telling the Lord, channel millions into my hands. And you shall see that God will provide. Can I hear an amen? Why don't you lift up your hands and tell the Lord, Lord, I desire to be part of what you're doing this year. In my life, I want to see testimonies of active faith. I want to see testimonies of active faith in my business, in my family. Come on, open your mouth and declare you shall not miss out on this year, this particular year. Every week, you shall have a testimony. Every month, you shall have a testimony. By the time this year is over, you shall have too many testimonies and blessings to count in the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and declare this is not a year like any other. It is not a year like any other we have had before. Can you Pray on the mic. Pray on the mic. Come on, open your mouth and declare 2024 shall not be like every other year. It is a new season for me. I believe that my faith will be active. My faith will have testimonies. My faith will have results. My faith will have tangible results. In the name of Jesus, as I wait upon the Lord, as I pray, as I write down the things I desire, they shall surely come to pass. In the name of Jesus, most of the things that have delayed, most of the things that have not yet been done, I believe that this is the year they are happening. This is the year that things are going to move. This is the year that I'm going back to school. This is the year that I will graduate. This is the year that I will get married. This is the year that I will hold my children. This is the year that I will travel abroad. This is the year that I will start my company. This is the year. Come on, mention the things that you desire to see God doing for you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Oh, I wish you can pronounce and declare the things you desire to see in the name of Jesus for they shall surely come to pass. Oh yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh In the name of Jesus. I just want to help you with something that I, I, I got to understand. You see, some of us are operating like it's a continuation of last year that we are in. I want you to look at this year as a blank check that God has given you. Because when the Lord says it's a year of active faith, it means marriage included, business included, your health included, open doors included. According to your faith, you shall see many things changing this year. Can I hear an amen in the house? Yeah. Towards the end of the last year, there is a song that was trending. We will dance to it in a while before I preach. You know, this is women of excellence. Tell me, but this is women of excellence. We pray, we cry, we dance, we are happy, we rejoice in the presence of the Lord. 
The song Shusha Nyavu. You see, this particular scripture, Luke chapter 5, verse 5, is not my sermon for today, but I just want to use that to help you take off. Can I hear an amen? amen. Don't, don't have too many negative memories to hinder you from what God is about to do. I pray that you shall go get the past where you failed before. God might just tell you to go back to the same place. But this time, because of his word, you shall do well. Hey, sh can I hear an amen? amen. Luke 5, 5. Yes, we thank God for active faith. But give us Luke chapter 5, verse 5. The Bible says, to on our scripture. The Bible says, please move faster for me. I want to keep time. <laughs> Look, okay, let me get my own because at this rate, Luke chapter 5, verse 5, the Bible says, But Simon answered and said to him, Wow, okay, let's read together. Uh -huh. But Simon answered, Who is not reading? You are not Simon, but the word applies to you. <laughs> let's read together. But Simon answered and said to him, To him who? Jesus, Master, we have toiled all night. And caught nothing. I have labored in this business many years. I have fasted many times. But the first thing we are doing this coming week. It shall be totally different in Jesus name. It shall be a game changer. Yes. We have toiled all night. And caught nothing. Nevertheless. At your word. You know you can put a stop right there. We have caught we have toiled and caught nothing. There is no need to toil. Let us stay where we are. We are comfortable where we are. You know, when you've gone through something for a long time or a problem or you've waited on God about something for a long time, it's easy to say, you know what? Where were God? No, no, no. That's not the language for this year. This year we are engaging another year. A another, another gear to keep, give it another push. And this push will push you to where you are supposed to be. In Jesus name. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. I want you to think of something you used to believe God for. You are pursuing. You are fighting for. You are praying for. You are expecting from God. And then you say, mm, it took too long. Mm, it's never, you know, I've kept trying and whatever. But I want you to awaken that because those are the things God is going to address. I'm telling you the truth. You will see dead dreams coming back to life. Hey, can I hear an amen in the house? Dead relationships coming back to life. Can I hear an amen? Doors you never thought will ever open. Flying open right before your eyes. I see like we are in a year of possibilities. Things that never looked possible shall all of a sudden begin to happen. Come on, open your mouth and begin to declare, yes, I believe it. I believe it. At your word, I will launch out again. At your word, I will try it again. At your word, I will knock that door again. At your word, I will believe again. At your word, I will trust again. At your word, I will go forth again. Makarebo In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we believe. Father, we believe in your word. You have said that this is our year of active faith. We believe it. Many things have gone. Many things have worked against us. But this is a new opportunity. This is a new season. This is a time, oh God, that you're going to turn around our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Our faith is lifted. Our faith is lifted. Our faith is lifted. Our faith is lifted. Rema Bosa. In the name of Jesus. Oh, why don't you tell the Lord, stir up my spirit to have faith, to have faith, to believe that all things are possible, to believe that what I thought cannot work is going to work in the name of Jesus. Not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. 
Yes. Father, we give you praise. Why don't you lift up your hands? Father, we thank you. Yes. We thank you that you always give us a word yes. to take us through the year. Yes. Thank you that you spoke to us through our prophet. Yes. That this is our year of active faith. Yes. We believe it. Yes. We, we run with this word. Yes. We apply it in every area of our lives. Yes. We are not thinking about what didn't work last year. Yes. This is a new opportunity. Amen. This is a new day. Amen. This is a new season. Amen. And Father, we believe that all things are yes. possible. Yes. According to our faith, yes. according to our active faith, yes. we shall see doors open, Amen. marriages healed, Amen. relationships restored, Amen. oh, doors flying open, Amen. businesses revived, Amen. anointing flowing, Amen. pending projects completed. Amen. Father, we thank you because it shall be so. Yes. And according to your word, yes. we shall launch back again. Amen. And this time we shall have a mega catch. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody give the Lord a show. Woo. Amen. Woo. Drop the song. Do we have uh, the, the dance? Dance. Where are these dancing stars? Yo, you are the same, same people. I want some moves. Come on. Baba. I live for Kwesha Kumena. I live for Mia Simoni. Come on, give us Kashushu a very nice move. Dancing stars, where are they? Shakulena, Ali Mwabia Simoni, Tweka Baka Kilindini. Kashu Shenya Huzenu, Mwana Mkubwa, Tumefanya kazi ya kutosha usiku kucha. Mwana Mkubwa, Tumefanya kazi ya tatusi pate kitu. Mwana Mkubwa, Tumefanya kazi ya kuchosha usiku kucha Mwana mkubwa Tumefanya kazi ya tatusi pate kitu Lakini kwa neno lako Na shusha nyavu Na shusha nyavu Kwa neno lako Na shusha nyavu Na shusha nyavu Na neno lako Na shusha nyavu Na shusha nyavu Kwa neno lako Na shusha nyavu Na shusha nyavu No dancing. Hey. Wana utanishika tena. Hata vita vinijie. Wana utapigania. Na wacha si wanijie. Wana utapigana nao. Nimetoa mwanzo nimetoa. Nimetoa na mafuta nikapewa. Nikapanda na mbegu nikapanda. Nikapanda ila mvua ikunja. Wana mkubwa. Tumefanya kazi ya kutosha usiku kuja Mwana mkubwa Tumefanya kazi ya tatu sipate kitu Mwana mkubwa Tumefanya kazi ya kutosha usiku kuja Mwana mkubwa Tumefanya kazi ya tatu sipate kitu Lakini kwa neno lako Na shusha nyavu Na shusha nyavu Na shusha nyavu Na shusha nyavu Na neno lako Na shusha nyavu be surprised a place where you applied and they declined you will be called back to that place in Jesus name oh yes it's a different season come on give the Lord a praise amen just give someone a high five or high ten as you go down into your seat let's appreciate the worship team they are always leading us amazing amen and amen wow beautiful you all look beautiful in 2024 may this year favor you 
Oh yes. May you forget the sorrows of the past years. May this be the year that the Lord turned your captivity around. Hey, somebody say, this is my year of active faith. And according to your faith, it shall be done. In Jesus' name. I have a testimony. Praise the Lord. So, I think my faith started being stretched in 2013 December. November, December. Oh, did I say 2013? 2023. 2023. Last year. 2023. December. And as a church in Kitengela, Harvest Family Church Kitengela, the Lord decided that where we were is not where we are supposed to cross over the year at. He gave us a building. But this building came with a, a, a challenge, a faith challenge, to raise a mega amount of money. Can I hear an amen? But I remembered last year in August, we, we went to Ghana for a conference. And... Uh, <laughs> The man of God, Bishop Doug, prayed for me for four good minutes walking with me like this. And he, he, he kept saying that, pray for her because she's taking a journey of faith. Wow. So I knew for such a man of God to pray for me, it's not faith for shoes. It is not faith for a phone. I knew this faith must be something quite mega. So when this opportunity came, I wish we could have our building we show you because now we are not in a tent. We are we are in a building. We are in a building by the special grace of God. So I was wondering is this thing of God is this not of God but I thank God because of our prophet because definitely I had to bounce it with him and he came and saw it and he said this is of God and he kept saying get ready for a mega church. Okay, sit down. So long story short, that building comes with a challenge of raising about 3 million Kenya shillings. So that was December and everybody has gone home. Did you not travel during Christmas? So I was there, we were preparing the place and on 7th is when I came and shared the news with the church. Like officially because now everybody was back. And I told them, we are people of faith. Mm. And they said, yes, pastor. Oh, there you go. If you saw where we used to be, you will appreciate where God has brought us. Because we were in a tent where when I'm preaching and everybody is saying, amen. Do you say amen when your mouth is shut? You open your mouth, right? Can you say amen? amen. Then the wind blows. And the dust in Kitengela comes right into the mouth. And I have to stop preaching and say, don't worry. One day, the Lord will give us a building. See what the Lord has done. Mm. So, so, we are purchasing that building. And I thank God because, let me tell you, God is not another of confusion. I told the Lord, did I ask that, to, that we move this soon? No. You are the one who saw that it's the right thing to, time to move. So even the money, you know where it is. So when I asked them to pledge, do you know how much they pledged? By faith. Because I told them, don't pledge out of your thinking. Pledge by faith, okay? And even me, I am pledging. We did papers, they wrote down. They pledged 3.7 million. So, sit down. Yani, tunasema pledge. Yeah, so of course, people who have, who have experience will tell you, pledging is one thing, redeeming is another. So what I'm doing every day is to declare, don't be a fool. Do not vow to God about something that you cannot fulfill. Guess what? When did I say we pledged? Seven. So those are how many weeks ago? Say 20 days, because today is 27. Precisely. Somebody say precisely. Guess what? One million is already in the account. One million is already in the account. And I have seen God's faithfulness. Can I tell you what is the game changer? 
I have never declared people in Kitengela don't have money. If you come there, you'll be searching for a millionaire. There is no one. There are a few children who are dancing here from Kitengela. Those are my members. Those are the women of faith and men of faith. But as their pastor, I always tell them, you are blessed. We are millionaires. So imagine God is doing it. And, and since we are supposed to pay in three months, I believe by the time we are meeting again in April, I'll be telling you we have officially finished paying. In fact, we shall finish and even build beautiful toilets, make the place, even make the building more beautiful and everything. To God be all the glory. But it's according to your faith. I have never, even when I knew, hey, when I knew that we are supposed to raise that money, I have never sat one day and said, Tasa tuta fanya. Tasa tuta. No, I believe to the last coin we shall raise it. Mm. And not just raise, but also come and participate in finishing our building. Yes, the other day I announced to them, I told them, we will be putting, keeping our ears on the ground. When our prophet says, pledge for tiles, we also bring our tiles. Yeah. Oh, yes. Do you know why? Because we want to tap in the grace of building. That is not our dream cathedral. Up on Imahali Paku, blossom. As we are, as the Lord is enlarging our boundary. Then we also build our cathedral. Can I hear an amen in the house? Receive that kind of faith in Jesus' name. So don't say funny things this year. Whatever level God takes you, even though you may be having butterflies, can I manage? You say, God is not confused. He knows I have what it takes for this level. Hey, can I hear an amen? Sit down. That is my testimony. So I believe I am a woman of faith. You shall be women of faith and men of faith for those who are here. Yeah, and we shall all do exploits. You will do exploits in your space and we shall all do exploits together. Kwani, our God does not lack anything. In Jesus' name, amen. Can I now preach? So our prophet told us that faith is prayer and prayer is faith. Did you hear that? Amen. So today I came to tell you, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. If you like, you can say, pray persistently. Pray persistently. Today I want us to look at praying persistently. You know, when the year has just begun, we are all very excited. We are all very hopeful. Hey, January, everybody has a vision. This year, mm, I'm, I'm losing weight. <laughs> this year, I'm starting my own company. This year, I'm writing down my vision. This year, lakini, siju nini nafanyikaga, by February, March, the fire goes down. But 2024, we will keep the fire burning in Jesus' name. Yeah, 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 it shall be so in Jesus' name. So somebody say, don't stop praying. Pray in January. Pray in February. Pray all the way to December. Then don't just pray in the morning at four. Pray even during the day. Yeah, let the Lord hear you say the same thing every time. You are driving, you are reminding him about your request. You are walking, you are saying the same thing. You are in the toilet, you are eating. Pray at all times. Nag him with that particular thing, you will see him respond. Give us Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 8. Luke 18, verse 1 to 8 is our main scripture. It's a story, it's a parable that Jesus used to explain why we need to pray without ceasing, or rather to pray persistently. Let's read together. The Bible says, then he, clear your throats. Let's all read together. One, two, go. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Yeah, sometimes we pray, but when the answer takes a bit longer than you expected, you lose heart, you stop praying, you forget about it. But this year, mm -mm, mm -mm. tell your neighbor, mm -mm. and I think if there are people who can really be persistent, it's women, isn't it? How are you able to carry a baby, especially the mothers? Girls, don't worry, you are, you are coming soon. Just listen to our stories because it shall be, you will be there. How do you carry a child for nine months? Now, I will say, 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 I
then when that labor pain comes, you persist until you see. So why is it that we cannot persist in prayer? I believe we shall until we see something. Amen. Let's continue. Verse 2. Saying, there was a certain city, huh? there, there was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Verse 3. Now, there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying, get justice for me from my adversary. An adversary is an enemy. Let's continue. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself. So he did not verbalize those words. It's something he thought to himself. And uh -huh. let's continue. Though I do not fear God, nor regard man, yet because this widow, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> let's go to verse 5. Yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her. Lest by her continual coming, she weary me. Remember this story is between a judge and a widow, right? But what example is it giving us? You talking to God in prayer. Yeah, yeah. So this particular story should explain our situation. So God is the judge and you are the, the widow. Let's continue. The Bible says, then the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. And shall God not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them? Though he bears long with them. That is to mean he might not come as soon as you expect. I am not a prophet of doom, but I have seen that there are some prayers God answers. Yeah, while you are yet speaking, I have responded. But there are some prayers he bears a bit longer because he's still packaging your answer. Can I hear an amen? I have heard many of those that the Lord has born. Bear long, born. What work is He bore, yeah, that he bore long. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you very much, Professor. Doctor, he bore a bit long. But you know, you feel, hey. But do you know the day he comes through, you look back, they say in retrospect, and you are like, mm, I thank you that you did not answer that time. There are some things you are asking for now, but because the capacity is not yet. So while he's bearing long, he will also ensure that he's preparing you for it. Can I hear an amen in the house? Amen. Let's continue. Even though he bears long. I tell you, let's read, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on earth? And will he really find active faith at Harvest Nation? May he find you still believing. Beautiful. Now, we give up very easily when we make requests and they are declined. Have you ever made a request, not even prayer? but requested something from someone and they just declined. Do you, do you even have energy to ask again? Yeah, 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 because it feels like maybe you are nagging or it actually feels like you are lowering yourself too, too low. It's like you are at the masses of that person. And you know each and every one of us to konaka pride fulani. Ama si yo ivo. Ah, mimi si ezi onyesha mutu na hitaji sana. Akae na iyo kitu yake. Akae na hiyo kazi yake. Akae na hiyo tenda yake. Eh? But can I tell you, people who are that way, they may never be able to do much. Did you know that most of the things you have received, even from men, you have had to persist a little bit. Because anything you are, you are requesting, any favor you are requesting somewhere, any opportunity, I'm sure there are many other people who are requesting for the same, isn't it? So if you have this giving up kind of an attitude, you will never get anything. I am praying that in this, in this year, 2024, the Lord will make you be someone who is persistent. Hey, somebody say, I will be persistent. Don't take no for an answer. Say that I am staying here. Like the way Jacob said, I will not go. I will not let you go until you bless me. Decide that I will not just listen to other people's testimonies. I shall also testify in Jesus' name. 
then you take that kind of a position. That will make you fast frequently. That will make you wake up at night to pray. That will make you keep reminding God, it's me again in need of prayer. Can I hear an amen in the house? So most of us are like that, yeah? But now Jesus is giving this story to show us. <laughs> you, can't, you can't afford to give up. And you know, if, if there's one person who can teach you how to pray to God, it is Jesus. Because he's our main intercessor, isn't it? And he's telling us, when you pray, persist. Yeah, he was telling them, don't, just, you know, they had seen Jesus praying short prayers, long prayers. He had, they had seen Jesus just call out someone who is dead and he comes back to life. But he's telling them, learn to also pray persistently. There are many types of prayer. Tell your neighbor, there are many types of prayer. There are short prayers long prayers there are some prayers you just make a declaration and something happens but there is another level of prayer of praying persistently staying there until something happens now i am very intentional as i'm teaching you about persistence is because we are meeting in january i pray that by the time we meet in, in april we will still be pushing about something and because you have prayed for it for three months most probably, you will already be having a testimony. Our prophet declared when he was giving us the wonder of the year, he said there will be miracles that will come in three months. Why, don't, why do you want to just sleep? Saila want to share testimony in three months. Ago. Oh, by the way, I think now I need to wake up. And, what are you talking about? May you be the one to testify in three months. He said there will be other powerful miracles that will come in six months. May that also be your testimony. So by first quarter, second quarter, most of us will be sorted. I don't know which, ask your neighbor, which, which, which category are you in? Oh yes, oh yes. But you see, it will not only just happen. You, you've got to be moving and doing something about it. Amen. Beautiful. You may wonder why do we have to really push when God already knows that, I mean, is he malicious? Is it that he can't just act? Why does he really want us to labor? But you see, your prayer is doing a lot than just bringing what you're asking for. Some of us, we are working against systems. Systems that have been ancient, established, saying that demonic forces, that have said that in your family, no one will ever break out of this particular cycle. So, by the time you are saying, I want to get married, Probably what you need to be praying more about. You know, the prayer you are making will first go to deal with those, to break those things. Depending on the intensity of the thing you are praying for, you might just have to push a little harder. Can I hear an amen in the house? Tell your neighbor, prayer is work. That's why not everybody is able to pray. But this year I'm praying that as our prophet is leading us to pray this coming week, it will not be the only time you are praying. It will actually do the work of activating your prayer life. Uh, you will decide that moving forward, every day I shall wake up at four. And I will start commanding my day. I will start commanding demons out of my life. And I will see things moving faster than before. Otherwise we are aging. You have just sung for me. Happy birthday to you. It's a, another year that has come. Yes. So we have to keep pushing because time is also running out. Can I hear an amen? Tell your neighbor, you don't have a lot of time to waste. So prayer, when you are praying, those things are breaking. You are also engaging God to speak on your behalf. You know? And I, I'm thinking about this lady. She was very disadvantaged because first of all, she's a widow. Do you know widows? A widow is a, a woman who had a husband, but the husband has died. A wife who had a husband, and the husband has? Then this widow has an enemy, an adversary. Do you know, they didn't even care to tell us the name of the widow. Yeah, it is a woman who is somewhere looking like rejected. And then she knows not, not many people can speak for me. But she gathered courage to go to this judge. And this judge, the Bible describes him as a wicked judge who never feared God nor regarded any man. And the lady is there. Manze, I would want to clap for this lady because if this judge tells you, get out of here. Now Hannah, hey, Hannah, ati bogi, 
you understand. Hannah, people to speak for him. She was not, I wouldn't think she was an elite kind of a woman who maybe plays golf and you get to meet a friend of the judge to tell them now the judge didn't listen to my case but I think I always see you together. Please talk on my behalf. The only hope she had was to just keep pleading and pleading and pleading. And that is the only hope you have. To keep on pleading and pleading and pleading with God. Now, most of us, we are interesting. We think that when you pray too many times, you are bothering God. It's like people who have my number. But, they are like, I, 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 I didn't want to bother you. I think you have very many people who call you. Wow. You have very many people who text you. Okay. Can I surprise you? Those who are always calling and texting are always in my mind. You who has decided you are busy, I, it's also a different story. So, forget about, do you care about those others who text? Now, our communication with God is prayer. Tell your neighbor, my communication with God is prayer. So, now, do you want to tell me we have gathered here and you are saying, hey, me now, now, what do I number? Let me postpone my problem. Let him, eh? I will pray. I will pray as though I'm the only child that belongs to God. Can I hear an amen in the house? Don't excuse that you, I won't pray because I don't want to bother God. Talk about it every other time. Isaiah 43, 22, amplified. Pastor G is in the house. Isaiah 43, 22. 43, 22. Arakisha. Isaiah 43, verse 22. Let us see what is amplified version. Mm. But you have not called upon me, O Jacob. Amplified, please. Yeah. Let's read together. Yet you have not called on me in prayer and worship, O Jacob. But you have grown weary of me. Wow. I love how our prophet say that prayer, active faith has to do with prayer. And we are starting off with prayer. Do you, do, you like, do you love your life? Are there some things you want to see changing in your life? Pray like never before. Pray like a mad person. Can I hear an amen in the house? Pray in tongues. Pray in English. Pray in vernacular. Pray. Pray like pray. I tell you the truth. This year, we shall see change in Jesus' name. That's a very powerful scripture. Yet you have not, God is complaining. You know, also when you're not praying, you make the angels very idle. My angels work what our lilala. They need to be resuscitated. I'm another job. Because you see, when you're praying, your angels are put into action. Wanambua, enda usumbue uo boss. Alete promotion. Go and command that door to open. Go and bring that, the, the, the millions. Go and command international doors to open. Go and chokoza chokoza some, somebody who should pay school fees for this particular person. As you are praying, the heaven will move on your behalf. Yeah, but when you are not praying, to see God and Ajua, I'll just be waiting. Really? Wow. Tell your neighbor this year, wake up and pray. So I want to give you some reasons why you should not stop praying reasons why from the scripture we read reasons why you should not stop praying wow number one don't stop praying because god does not fear anyone don't stop praying because god does not fear anyone because th this particular story jesus was using it just to show us this is how god is now, God is not wicked, definitely. He's a good God. Somebody say, my God is a good God. Now, this guy, judge, said, I don't fear man. I don't fear God and I don't regard man. What you need to understand is that God is not a respecter of persons. When we say that God does not fear anyone, he's not a respecter of persons. So, that is to tell you, I would like us to read Acts 10, 34. Acts 10, 34. Acts 10, 34, the Bible says, then Peter replied, I see very clearly that God shows no favorism. Yeah.
have to have more weddings than last year in Jesus name more baby dedications than last year in Jesus name hey somebody say I believe it car dedications house dedications business dedications come on somebody declare I receive it ground breaking to build churches we receive it in Jesus name house warming and ground breaking for your house may it come forth in the mighty name of Jesus somebody say I believe it and I receive it the Bible says write down the vision make it plain that even though it tarries it shall finally surely come to pass yeah are we together somebody say I receive it me I love this year of faith hey! but it will be such an, an adventure sit down otherwise if you are expecting to move by sight you will only keep going round around the familiar grounds yes but when you activate faith we will love it we will hear mind-blowing testimonies from this old from you it is you you see the way you are not believing somebody say I'll be the one to testify oh yes and you'll be saying when I thought that he has done too much oh hey, yet another one in Jesus name somebody say I believe it so I'm encouraging you stay in the realm of faith yeah don't come down to the we are, we, are, we, are, we are flying in faith we are elevating our view we are seeing with the eyes of faith we shall not operate by what we are seeing the circumstance A bit, what will happen is that as we are praying the bible says that the spirit of God raises a standard yeah 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 so you'll see sit down I feel like declaring some things you see that in this same year of active faith eh, the enemy will also try to silence your faith if there is a time you'll hear more doubts more more tell him get behind me satan but you will not be able to have such a voice if you are not praying and that's why our prophet says if you want to walk in power this i mean i mean what are you talking about somebody said this year my eyes of faith are open my ears of faith are open I silence every other voice. I block every other negative vision. I am going to move by faith. Walk by faith. Move by faith. Operate by faith. Live by faith. Ah, shake namakanta rabaza. I see that most of you will shock your families. You will surprise your enemies. Those who thought they have figured you out. My God, they will wonder what Karemo Shakandaraba. Most of you who have been mocked because you seem to just be doing things that don't make sense. In this year, people will come to celebrate not because they want to, but because they don't have a choice. They will see God pushing you to where you belong. Makanda Ramakata Rebo Shakandaraba. May God charge you up. May God charge you up. May God charge you up. Most of you who have been rejected, you shall be celebrated. Most of you who have been ignored, people will seek for your attention. But unfortunately, you'll be so busy. They never thought you have anything to offer. But they'll be honestly, in your humility, you'll be like, I would really have loved to come. But look at this, my calendar is full. Makanda Ramosha Katara Makande Rebo. Rekete Reba Ribaraba. Business women, I see God opening doors for you. You'll just be tie signing tenders and tenders, going for business meetings. That's why you cannot sleep. Prepare you for the day. Because you don't want to receive calls for very important meetings. Calls are being made at seven. You are still farting in bed. We bind Satan in Jesus' name. You wake up, you shower, you pray, you tell the Lord, I'm ready for my day. I'm ready for what you're about to release. I'm ready to receive it. Whatever you send, I'm receiving it. Come on, somebody say, it shall be my portion. 
I hear the Lord saying that those who, who, who declined your offers, who declined your requests, who showed you like you are nothing, and you know what will have happened? They will have tried many other service providers. But the person we have been waiting for, it shall be your portion. You also have to refine yourself. You also have to package yourself correctly. Can I hear an amen in the house? Faith does not mean being foolish. Faith means preparing. Yeah, when you walk by faith, if you are believing God to get married, you start talking to people who are married. So, to, so you understand what being married looks like. Can I hear an amen in the house? If you are believing God to come out of employment and start your own company, you start talking to people who have companies to tell you what owning a company looks like. Hey, can I hear an amen in the house? I am loving this year. My God, this year shall be very prophetic. Faith calls those things that are not as though they are. You know, right, right now I'm, I can hear so many things that God is speaking to me. One of the things that will happen, people who left this altar because they never saw anything. My God, they will be crying from their corners because what God is about to do, what God is about to do, even with our prophet, with our ministry, the Lord is pushing us into the limelight. The Lord is positioning us to solve problems, to make decisions, to give solutions to our nation. It shall be so. It shall be so. So many things. Ah, so many things have been said on this altar. How God will even empower young people to be in very key positions. It is going to start happening. It shall start happening. Most of the prophecies that God has spoken, they will come to pass. They will come to pass. They will come to pass. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to declare, I activate everything God has ever said concerning my life. It is coming to pass. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. We shall not get weary. We shall not stop praying, Lord. We will keep pushing. We will keep laboring at the altar. We will keep crying out to you. We shall keep knocking the doors. We shall keep reminding you, Lord, until it comes to pass. In the name of Jesus. Come on, declare every promise. Every promise. Every vision. Every desire you have heard. And it looked like it will never happen. Oh, declare it is coming to pass. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, why don't you lift up your voice and tell the Lord, visit me this year. Let this be my ear. Let this be my ear of possibilities. Let this be my ear to see things happen. That my faith will produce. My faith will bear results. My faith will make things happen. My faith will command doors to open. My faith will bring life to every dead situation. My faith, my faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name, another thing that will happen very strongly this year, not just in our headquarters, but even in our church, there will be very strong miracles. Tangible miracles happen. Because you see, unless people see the power of God, they will never believe. So there will be such a move of the power of God. Amen. Powerful miracles. Creepers walking. Blind eyes opening. 
that something that God has spoken severally that it will happen, that our prophet will flow with that kind of an anointing. It shall also be ours even as brand churches. And all of us even as believers, as shepherds, you will pray and someone will come and testify. My ear could not hear. But when my shepherd was praying for me, something happened and it opened up. Ah! Yeah. I pray that we shall not have spectators. Hey, tell your neighbor you are anointed. Unless you are a visitor, everybody else should believe God to carry an anointing. Oh yes. Because the kind of work God wants to do, it cannot be done by one person. It cannot be done by five people. You don't have to bear a title pastor to, work or to operate in the anointing. Can I hear an amen in the house? Why don't you lift up your hands? I want, us, I want to pray that our harvest groups, our cell groups, harvest groups, squads, impact groups, love groups, they shall be, hey, my God, the miracles that will be happening in those small groups, it shall never be the same again. And through our, our harvest groups, love groups, cell groups, yes. the Lord shall multiply our churches. Amen. Come on, open your mouth and begin to pray. We shall not remain small. We shall not remain few. We shall not remain small. We shall multiply. We shall we shall multiply. We shall multiply. We shall multiply. Rekerebo sinaraba sikataraba. Oh, sheke. Rika terebo sikataraba. We shall multiply. We shall multiply. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, wow, I know most of you, you just want the faith to work for your personal gain, but if you want to see God investing in your life, you have to have an agenda for his work. Can I hear an amen in the house? Not just financially, but changing lives. Touching souls. Shepherding somebody. Discipling somebody. I pray that the grace to disciple people is coming back into this house. Amen. Yeah, none of us will be fruitless. You have to have something that you can show God. Amen. Why would God have to think about you if you are not doing anything in his house? I want us to pray individually that this year, we shall bear fruit for God. Amen. We shall invite people to church. Amen. We shall disciple people. Amen. We shall open our houses for, for the cell groups. Amen. We, shall, we shall be involved in the work. Amen. Ah, Come Amen. on, open your mouth and declare. Yes, yes, yes. We shall not just use this anointing for our personal gain. We shall build your work. We shall be fruitful for you. Ah, shenere mo Rikanebo in the name of Jesus, 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 you know, we have to believe God that this year we shall, we shall appoint more shepherds, yeah, we, but until people will be one, not for the sake of a title, but you will be a shepherd who has fruit. And your fruit will remain in the name of amen. Jesus. Can I hear an amen in the house? Amen. This thing of coming to church to slay. And to show you a new outfit. Keep your outfits at home. Come ready to work. Come ready to work. Yeah, let there be somebody you can show us that I prayed for this one. First I invited them to church. I have been walking with them. Now they are filled with the Holy Spirit. Now they, are, they can pray. You, those are the kind of things you should be bringing to our prophet. Yeah, instead of bringing your problems all the time, meet with our prophet and say, these five people, I have been praying with them. And I'm, I've been making them listen to your messages. And we are whatever. And now, it, something like that. Can I hear an amen in the house? That laziness of just thinking about yourself. I bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall all get into the field and work. Yeah. When, God, when Jesus told Simon, put down the net again for a catch. After he was like, whoa, the anointing can bring forth fish. Jesus told him, and from now, you shall no longer be a fisher of fish. You shall be a fisher of men. Yeah. That, that power was to show him, 
you can become a fruitful man. That's why we have a book named after Peter. Because he followed the counsel of Jesus. He followed Jesus. He became a disciple. Then he became a disciple. I pray that that shall be what we shall be known for. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our prophet will just be launching churches. Because Amen. before you know it, we have these 10 harvest groups. 10 impact groups. 10 squads. 10 love groups that have grown and now we can have a location and a church plant in Jesus name. Amen. We believe it. I believe it. We shall not be barren in this church. Amen. We shall not be barren. Amen. And it is not the work of our prophet to do that. So this active faith has to work all around. Tell your neighbor, it will work in my life. In my pocket. And I shall also be a very fruitful person. Yeah, that will make us rejoice when we are seeing that on that first, people cannot even fit here. And yet all our other churches are full. All our branches are overflowing and even in our headquarters, we are overflowing. I pray that we shall come to a place where we shall put a screen in the tent. Because that first is we are, we, we can't. I shall never And our prophet will stand here and say, I'm praying that even by the time we are celebrating HYP, he'll be able to say the three things I said. I have seen that we have become united. I have seen that we have multiplied through cell groups. And I've seen that we have planted churches. It shall be so in Jesus' name. So if you are not contributing to the vision of the prophet of the house, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can I give you a, a testimony? So, you know, every testimony you see, there is an instruction behind it. I remember it was in the month of October and I was feeling like we are stagnated as a church. Uh, you, don't, you can't be somebody who don't, doesn't know whether things are working or not. Me, for me, when things are not moving, I feel, hey, I feel very bad. So I was asking God, what is it? What do I do? And the Lord gave me an instruction. He told me as a branch church, you, the secret to your growth is constantly staying connected to the headquarters. Because that is where the anointing flows. The person who carries the vision of this ministry is our prophet. You have to find ways of staying connected. Number one, by having your spirit open to him. You cannot be criticizing, talking against, whatever. Then the anointing will never, the anointing knows. It will never work for you. Are we together? Number two, the Lord told me praying for him. So I told Kitengela Church, me, me, I am the number one prayer person for our prophet. So by default, all of you, when we gather together, we pray for our prophet. Are we together? And praying for our headquarter. And the Lord told me, when you do that, the same grace that is flowing in him, you shall see it. I didn't know it would come that fast, that by the time the year ended, we had a building that we did not build. Now, the, what you would want to be interested to know, that pastor who built that building, because we, we are buying it from someone else who built, he went to Kitengela the same year I went. Wow. Yes. I went in July, he had gone in March. He built what he didn't know he was building for me. Yes. You see how God works. But why has, you see, when, when, you, when you operate by spiritual instructions, your life moves faster than it should. Because the normal sequence would have been we save, we buy land, then we, be, we do groundbreaking. Where to say Hakuna groundbreaking? Building in We do groundbreaking. We do, eh, eh. Ata God aliona, uh, mschana. Ata weza kubeba mawe. Let me send a man of God, another man of God to go and... <laughs> yeah. Are we together? But what was I busy doing? praying for our prophet as he's building this building. And the Lord decided to do what? Yeah. That is what God can do. So I'm telling you, don't just think about me, my nails, me, my handbag, me, my flying to another, to Dubai. What are you talking about? Prioritize the kingdom. Man, say the things God will surprise you with. Utakuna sema, ay Lord, you are suffocating me with these blessings now. Please, just give me some... To Barbariki wengine kidogo at least I get a moment to breathe It shall be your portion in Jesus name Make this house your priority Especially those of you who are here You are so privileged As we long to see our prophet I am not now talking as a wife Yeah, I, I operate in different When it's wife that one is yes But I'm talking about him as our uh, The one who carries the vision 
we don't get to hear him every day, isn't it? Oh, do you see me seated there? When he's preaching, I am also trying to tell people something. And I always wait to finish and get to hear Alisema so that the following Sunday I also go and say the same. Are we together? But you are privileged to be here. Please don't get familiar. Listen to everything he says. Kama sasa hizo prayer ja inafakukuwa ulisha ulisha eh? The way he said we will we, we'll be anointing ourselves every time we come to church. Make sure you carry your oil. Si lazima shindia kusema muko na oil. By the time anasema mumeinua. You know even things will move faster. Can I hear an amen? And your life will change. Can I hear an amen? Yeah, this year we shall see that everything we waited for has finally come to pass. So all I wanted to challenge you, I'll not even continue. All I wanted to challenge you to do is to pray without ceasing. Don't stop pray. Don't just pray in January. Don't just pray during seasons of withdrawal. Pray the whole year. Pray with the same intensity. When you feel like it's going down, listen to this message and decide I'm pushing, for, for, I'm pushing harder. Yeah. The speed at which you want to see miracles flowing, pray with the same intensity. Yeah. Because when you stop, then your angels are sleeping. We have to keep our angels engaged. 247. Ah, 247 in Jesus' name. Who keep, who keep drive and say, hey, man, say God, Ebu, Arakisha, who are angels? You see, like the way Daniel was praying, and the Bible says that for 21 days, for 21 days, eh? The, the answers were released, but there were principalities. But as he kept praying, now a stronger angel, warrior angel was sent. Who came to, mm, may there be a strong angel that will be sent to release those delayed miracles. But you have to be on the ground. Oi, any lazy person, leave that laziness here at the altar. And pick your, your, your what? Your zeal and passion for prayer. And decide that this year, I gotta pray. Somebody say, I gotta pray. Make everywhere you are an altar of prayer. Your house, when you enter, it's like your house is telling you, when you enter your bed, pray before you sleep. Pray when you wake up. Pray before you eat. Pray while you are walking. Pray, back out. you people think you are a mad person. Yeah. And you know, as you keep praying, even the passion to work will also be there. And you know what will happen? You will not waste your time. The Lord will be guiding you to work smart. Not just to work hard. There's a difference. Somebody said, this year I shall also work smart. Yeah. That is to mean you work and you get results more than the labor you put in. Yeah, because you see, you are not just throwing your, your energy everywhere. Because you have waited upon the Lord. He shows you. It's like what Jesus told them. Launch there. He knew where the fish are. Waliko the whole night. Because they were working hard. This time he told them. Fish smart. Don't just fish. Fish. Thank you. Lift up your hands. Father in the name of Jesus. Just open your mouth and tell the Lord this year. Lord I desire to pray without ceasing. I desire to pray. I know you are not a respecter of persons. I know that God, there are some things that might take a little longer before you answer, but I am willing to go all the way. I'm willing to go all the way. I'm willing to go all the way. I'm not going to get tired. Give me the grace. Give me the tenacity. Give me the tenacity. Give me the zeal. Give me the grace to stay at it, to stay persistent. Until it is done. Oh, Lift up your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I pray that this year. That this year. I shall not be lazy. I shall not be lazy. To pray. To pray.
pray. I will also not be too busy. I will also not be too busy to pray. To pray. I will also not give up easily. I will also not give up easily. I am easily. going all the way. I am going all the way into my breakthrough. Into my breakthrough. To my answered prayers. To my answered prayers. I shall prayers. persist. I shall persist. I will not stop praying. I will not stop praying. I will pray in the morning. I will pray in the pray morning. During the pray during the day. Pray during the day. Pray into the night. Pray into the night. Pray while walking. Pray while walking. Pray before I sleep. Pray before I sleep. Pray fasting in the morning. Pray fasting in the pray morning. Pray at all times. Pray at all Why time. don't you pray that God will give you that grace? Clap your hands and ask God for the grace. Ask God for the grace. Lord, stir up the grace to pray. Stir up the grace to pray. Stir up the grace to pray. Oh, the Lord will answer you. He has said, Call unto me, and I will answer. And I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. This year, as we call, every call will be answered. Every prayer will be answered. Every cry will be responded to. The Lord is attentive to those who are calling upon Him. We have not been calling for a long time. But as we begin to call, He's responding. He's answering. Oh, He will answer. He will answer. He will answer. He will answer, he will answer us speedily. He will answer us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where you need God to give you justice. But I just want you to open your mouth and mention that area. That you need to see God giving you justice in a particular area. I want you to mention it right here. He's listening to you. Just mention it. Justice in your marriage. Justice in your relationship. Justice in your company. Justice in your place of work. Justice in your family. Come on, open your mouth. Yes, he's listening. He's our judge. He's our judge. Some of you have been due for promotion and you have taken too long. Oh, the Lord is listening. He's listening. Yes, he will give you justice. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Why don't you lift up your hands and just tell the Lord, thank you. Because I know that when I call, you will answer. When I cry, you will listen to me. Just close your eyes and lift up your hands and tell him thank you. Tell the Lord, stir up the grace of prayer in me. Not just for this season, but forever. That I shall be a prayerful person. That I will wage war in the spirit. That I will not be tired of praying. That I will not faint along the way. That I will not stop persisting. That I will not let go easily. That I will not give up easily. That I will not just pray for a few days. Oh, let this be my lifestyle, Lord. Oh, he says that if you call to him, he will answer you. Oh, Father, we receive our answers. We receive our answers this year. As individuals, as families, as a church, in the name of Jesus, we receive our answers. We declare that by faith, everything we have waited for, everything we have desired to see, it shall come to pass. And Lord, we shall come back to this altar to say thank you for what you have done. Amen. Father, receive all our praises and our worship. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And somebody say, Amen. Why don't you give the Lord a praise and a shout? You shall surely testify. Amen. In Jesus' name, worship him. See what the Lord has done. Oh, see what the Lord has done. So 
shall testify and as I testify I shall sing that song see what the Lord has done both your enemies and your friends will see what the Lord has done as you engage in prayer this year as you purpose to pray without ceasing as you pray not to stop praying for sure you will sing this song see what the Lord has done father we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name, we, we pray. And somebody say, Amen. Why don't you give him a praise and a shout in the house? Amen. Amen. With all eyes closed, with all heads bowed. If you're here, maybe somebody invited you and you don't have Jesus in your heart as your personal savior. I would like you to lift up your right hand so that I can lead you to Christ. You cannot walk by faith. You cannot... Uh, activate your faith and be able to pray effectively when you don't have a relationship with God. Prayer is communication with God. So if you're saying that I want to give my life to Jesus or if you used to be born again and you have backslidden, just lift up your right hand. You want to rededicate your life to Christ and you're saying today is the day. I want to start all over again. Lift up your right hand. Nobody is going to, um, to, to laugh at you. Can we clap so that as they are coming lift up your right hand any other person yeah you don't need to be afraid because this is the best decision of your life in jesus name do we have anybody else anyone else anyone else all right pastor caro just come close i want us to all help her say this powerful prayer what's your name and beautiful put your right hand on your chest this prayer will change your life forever yeah you'll find that jesus will come right into your heart Peace will come back. Joy will come back. And this year you shall have a brand new life. Say after me, say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I open my heart to you. I open my heart I welcome to you. you. I welcome to you. Be the Lord to be the Lord and the Savior of my life. And the Savior of my Forgive life. Forgive my sins. Forgive us. Wash me with your precious blood. Wash me with your precious blood. Transform my life. Transform my life. I want to follow you. I want to follow all you. The all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I want to seek you. I want to, I want to you. serve you. I want to serve you. Why don't you declare Satan? Satan. I don't belong to you. I don't belong From to you. Today, From today, I forsake. You, I forsake and you I will follow Jesus. and I will follow Jesus and from today, and from today I, am born again. I am born again in Jesus name in Father Jesus we thank name. you Lord I thank you for Anne I pray the Lord you establish her in your kingdom let her follow you let her become a disciple of Christ let her serve you in this house 
and I pray that her life will never be the same again. Let her remember this day as the day that she experienced change in her life. Bless her Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Why don't you put your hands together for Anne? Amazing. Wow. So that's Pastor Carol with you. She will tell you what to do after this. Amen. Why don't you appreciate Jesus? Amen. I would like you to take a powerful offering. Yeah. To declare that I shall testify many testimonies this year. I want you to establish a seed at the altar and declare I will be back with many testimonies. In fact, every Sunday you come, you shall have something that God has done. Amen. Amen. I believe that every declaration we have received is already working. Angels are already at work, moving on our behalf. In worship team, or you have your phones to give. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You need to get us a very hot, powerful. Hmm? We testify. That one is nice. Yes. So please, let's, let's give. And as you give, may the Lord bless you. I told you I'm finishing on time. Don't joke. Yeah, so that you don't come to church late tomorrow. We, are, we have our prayer service in the morning. What do you call the prayer? The, your prayer in, in the morning. What is it called? Hey, Pastor Abby, somebody from HQ. Eh? You don't have a name, but you meet to pray at what time? 6 a.m. Yeah, so please, I don't want to be the reason why you mulilal. You go, cook, pick up, iron your clothes. Shower tonight, wake up and come. <laughs> Amen. Beautiful. I want you to name your testimony. You are, you are offering my testimony offering. Just, or, or, or I say, I will testify. Somebody say, I will testify. Let angels see that and get into action and make things happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Apenda. Sana. Amen. I want you to lift up your phone in Jesus' name. Just like Hannah, we shall all come here and share powerful testimonies. Amen. Why don't you rise up and lift up your, your phone, your offering. Amen. As we declare, Father, in the name of Jesus. How many believe that God has spoken to you? You believe that your faith is now stand up and you are praying all the way to your miracle. Lift up your right hand. Father, in Jesus' name. We join our faith together to declare this year will not go to waste. Every day will count. Every week will count. Every month will count. We shall have powerful testimonies of the doing of the Lord. P testimonies of finances. Testimonies about relationships. Testimonies about our, our fruitfulness in the house of God. Testimonies about doors you have opened. Mind-blowing testimonies. We receive them. And we declare as we give this offering, we shall surely come here to testify. Father, we give you praise and honor and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And somebody say, Amen. You can come to the altar and give us. Yeah, amen. And when you're coming, you dance. Hey. Dance the way you will be dancing as you're coming to testify. Hey. Come on, if you're seated, please rise up. Oh, Today, Pastor Kanyuera will come and release them, the you visitors the and the share of the prayer of benediction. Waters. Yes. Hey, you are the God of miracles. Please sing along. You give me joy and peace within, Lord. Give us the lyrics. I have come to testify. No one can see it. No one can do the things you do. Always on time and never late. Always on time, you never late. I am here. I am here to testify, Lord. This miracle, this miracle has walked away. Come on. We testify. I, 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 I. We celebrate. Oh, 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 oh God. Lord, we give you all the praise. Testimonies everywhere. Come on. We 
stood by me, you stood by me when no one could. You are the love that never leaves. You are the love that never leaves. I am here. I am here to testify, Lord. Of how you took away my shame. Of how you took away my oh, shame. Oh, you took away my shame. shame. You made something out of nothing. Oh. I can't deny. I can't deny your love for me. I can't deny your love for me. I'm in a lost for world. I'm in a lost. I'm in a lost. Hey, we testify. For women of excellence, see you in April. But we keep praying. April we will have some testimonies, not some, many testimonies. And you shall be one of them to testify. Yes. Come on, give it up for Jesus. One more time, I preach King Jesus in the house. Amen. Have you been blessed by the ministry of our mother? Why don't you appreciate our mom, Pastor Masi Macharia? Hey, some of you, the way you are doing it, we can do it better. Amen, amen, amen. We may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hey, what an amazing moment. Have you been blessed? Amen. It's an amazing moment to come and receive an impartation. I'm sure that this year will be a year with a difference. Amen. When mom was saying that she's feeling that this year many things are going to happen. I was just saying yesterday, I feel like something unique will happen in this year. And I believe this word is my word. Amen. Wow. So we really want to thank God for all of you for uh, making time to come and minister to. Look, this is all about you. Having, receiving the word of God for the growth of your spirit. Amen. So you should appreciate yourself for at least making time to be here. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. So at this point, we want to release the visitors. And we really want to appreciate everybody who takes time to invite somebody. And I'm surprised that every time during Women of Excellence, because by the grace of God, mostly I'm here. We always have visitors. Do we have visitors today? Do we have visitors? Let's appreciate all the visitors. Whenever they are seated, maybe somebody invited you. We just have to see where you are seated. Ah, yeah, at least I see somebody at the back who looks like a visitor. Appreciate all of them. Come on. Yeah, so the ladies who are standing, they are going to receive you. Yeah, there is another one here. Let's appreciate her. Look, ask your neighbor, my neighbor, why are you looking like a visitor? Yeah, if they are a visitor, you can help them stand because some visitors wonder, ah, they want to call me in front. No, we don't want to call you here. We just want to appreciate and spend some good time with you after this. So if you're a visitor, please, God bless you so much. Okay, let's appreciate them one more time. Even as they are ushered out, and God bless what can all you of us. To draw up in the air? Can you wait to draw up in the air? I appreciate them. What can you wait to draw up in the air? This is your dedication. Can you wait to draw up in the air? Salvation, salvation, salvation. bless all of us in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So we want to also uh, bring to your attention we have some very nice tea for every one of us. Amen. You guys like it. So why don't you appreciate our mother as well because it's during this celebration today we are enjoying a cake and some tea. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Let's as we also enjoy the tea. Let's celebrate our time. Let's uh, fellowship as we get prepared for and God bless us. Amen. If there is again, God bless you. We are so happy. Thank you. Let's appreciate our mom even as she walks out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are those like shouting, clapping, and screaming? 
Amen. Our mama, we love you so much. And we are so grateful even for the ministration. Welcome for the love song. God bless all of us. You're my brother. You're my sister. So take me by the Bless us. May the Lord be with us. See you tomorrow for our respective.